Hi guesties, did you know that Abergavenny Castle is famously known for its Christmas Day Massacre, the Gate of Wales? In the 1160s, Henry Fitzmiles, 1st Earl of Hereford and Lord of Abergavenny, was murdered by Sayus Lat to Vunwell, in a project of pronouncing that arm, of Castel Arnold. Henry had no male heir, thus Abergavenny Castle passed to his daughter, Bertha's husband, William de Browse. Christmas is a traditional time for settling differences under the pretense of peace and starting new eras among the Welsh. In 1175, William de Browse invited Sassius Clap to Vunwell and other Welsh noblemen of Gwent to Abergavenny Castle at Christmas, supposedly as an act of reconciliation and with the understanding that they could voice their grievances, overcome differences, and begin a new period of peace following a period of conflict. Some Welsh noblemen did not trust de Browse and declined the offer, but Sassis and his eldest son Geoffrey attended the dinner and other Welsh nobles followed Sassis's lead and also attended. When they arrived at Abergavenny Castle, they were greeted and told to surrender their weapons before entering the Great Hall to ensure the peaceful intent of all involved. Once inside, the doors were locked and armed men cut them down without mercy. De Browse and his men then mounted their horses and rode the few miles to Sassy's home, where they murdered his seven-year-old son, Cadwalder, and captured his wife. De Browse's vicious act was in retribution for the murder of his uncle in the 1160s. De Browse even earned the nickname Ogre of Abergavenny for his conduct. Sanctions were levied against him, and he was retired from public life, resulting in the castle being passed to his son. Sassy's death was later avenged in 1182 by Hugh that worth. I apologize if I can't pronounce that, my Welsh isn't great. Lord of Caerleon in a campaign where Abercofenny Castle was stormed and set ablaze. Now this is close at night, but it has a museum that you can go in and investigate in. But I wouldn't be surprised with, you know, its sketchy past and sketchy history and the fact that there was a massacre. There should be at least some souls still unhappy and still roaming the grounds. Have you ever been here and experienced anything? Okay, let me know. Bye!